What's up everybody? We're gonna take a look at how to unfreeze a barbell today. This is my Rogue Athlete barbell. Uh, it was a barbell that I had on the boat when I lived out in San Diego. So it has a whole bunch of rust on it. Uh, as you can see over here, both the ends, they're completely locked up. They don't rotate, nothing happens. So, you know, you might think by doing that or when this kind of happens to your barbell, uh, hey, this thing's shot, I don't know what to do with it. I can't get it unstuck. We're gonna show you what to do with a locked up barbell and how to get it rotating smooth again and then hit a fun workout. First things first, what do you need to accomplish the task to get the sleeve off? If it's super locked up, you're gonna need some extra tools rather than just like lubricant, right? So um, you're definitely gonna need a pair of snap ring pliers because there's snap rings that kind of hold everything in in here. If you don't have these, it's gonna be really difficult to get the snap rings off. You could probably pull it off with um, a couple different small screwdrivers or something like that, but uh, it's a massive headache. So invest in one of these, it's gonna be worth it. Um, wire brush just for cleaning off the rust. Some three-in-one oil to help lubricate things. Got just a couple other like WD-40 uh, dry lube spray and some graphite dry spray. Uh, you can use regular WD-40, any other kind of lubricant out there to kind of help with this. Definitely like a rubber mallet or something to help kind of get the uh, sleeve off. So if it's not coming off, you don't want to use a metal hammer on metal. You're going to dent it up, chip it, whatever. So grab yourself a rubber mallet and definitely um, these snap ring pliers to help yourself get the barbell or get the uh, sleeve off. Okay, first things first. We're gonna take off the outer snap ring. Definitely wear some iPro. Uh, if you're not careful with how you're taking this off, the snap ring can fly out anywhere. So you definitely don't want that thing flying in your eyes. So get a little protection there. Um, we're gonna dig in. Get in there. Pull out. So there's the outer snap ring. Next thing to come out is the little insert. It's usually just kind of knock around there. So that's the Rogue Athlete Bar 2014. And pretty cool, actually, I, I just noticed this on the inside. It has the date when the barbell was actually assembled. So December 21st of 2013, that's pretty awesome. A little note there. Next, there's another inner snap ring in there. Um, you can see there's like a ton of rust everywhere. So it probably will help to get some spray in there to kind of get things loosened up a little bit. We're gonna to to try to do the same thing. There we go. The inner snap ring comes out. Now the next thing you need to do to help get some of these shins out to make it a little bit easier, is we're gonna use the mallet. And we're gonna to try to knock back the sleeve. There we go. Just a little slide back there. Take out one of the inner ones, and then there's a split washer set up here. We got both of those pretty corroded up, got some gunk on them. Definitely going to want to spray those down. And then we're going to bring it back forward. Knock out our last container. Now at this point, the barbell should pop right off. Went ahead and got everything disassembled. I went ahead and took the wire brush across the sleeve. Obviously I didn't get all the rust off the sleeve, but definitely was able to clean it up pretty well for the sake of time right now. Uh, I'm just gonna get some of the, just got some of the major stuff off and the plates sliding on and off of here are gonna help get a lot of it off once I start working out with it again. But really wanted to dig in, in here into the corners and kind of on the, on the edges here on this lip because plates don't slide on and off there. So that's not somewhere that's really gonna get touched. That's somewhere where you gotta touch up with the wire brush. Next thing we're gonna do is clean off basically where the sleeve slides onto. So you can see there's a whole bunch of uh, rust. There's actually like some dirt, some liquid, uh, any kind of grease that might've been put in here before completely picked up dirt. And that's probably what really froze it all up, right? So uh, we're gonna clean this off, get it looking good. Uh, put some, again, lubricant only on where basically the barbell is kind of 
uh, touching the sleeves. So that's going to be kind of on the end here, right in here and right on the end. The rest of this doesn't really need to be touched, just needs to be touched where it kind of rotates around. Add in a little extra 3-in-1 oil and then slap everything back together. We got this thing polished up pretty much as good as, as it's going to get with the wire brush. Uh, now we're just going to, again, shoot some lubricant. I've got WD-40 dry lube. It's supposed to not attract quite as much dust and not pick up as much grime, which is something that you want when you have the inside of the barbell um, rotating around and everything. You don't want to get a bunch of dust or chalk and all that build up in there. You want anything that you can do to kind of slow that down and prevent it from you know, getting gummed up. So that's why I'm going to use this today. I'm just going to hit it again on the contact points on the inside of the shaft is the only two places that you really need to hit it. And uh, then we're going to slide the shaft on there, button it back up, see how it spins. Okay, the other thing you want to do is make sure you clean out the insides of these bushings. So not only can you see the gunk that was kind of on the shaft here, but we want to make sure that we get the inside of these bushings cleaned out best we can. And again, just hit it with a little bit of lubricant and get it spinning back nice and free. So now we're gonna put this bad boy back together. Got the sleeve slid on, kind of knocked it over a little bit with the uh, rubber mallet. First thing that's gonna go on is the initial washer, then the two half moon washers. Then I'm gonna put another washer on there. This one didn't actually come with a shim. Some of them might actually have an extra shim. If it does, you wanna slide that on first. The next washer, then I'm gonna put on the initial snap ring, the end cap, and then the final snap ring that kind of holds everything together. So there is a difference if you look in the snap rings. Um, the edges of the snap ring, if you wanna come up here, are a little bit bigger on this snap ring. And this was the one that was actually on the inside. So you wanna make sure that you pay attention to that. Make sure you're keeping in track which snap rings uh, go on the inside or stays on the inside versus which one's on the outside to hold the end cap in because that will matter. Um, those are different and they are different for a reason. So make sure you pay attention to that. We got the bigger edges on the inside. Last end cap's gonna go back on. There we go. And then the final snap ring with the smaller tips or edges, or more rounded edges rather. Okay, now one of the last things I'm gonna do is if you're looking for just low, easy barbell maintenance, you don't have to necessarily take everything off. If it's not spinning really well, maybe you don't have the time to rip the whole barbell off or rip the whole sleeve apart. You can actually just take a little bit of three-in-one oil and kind of dip it right on the inside here in the bushing. Kind of go all around, push it right in there. That's gonna put a little bit of a barrier between the two pieces of metal. And already we got it spinning way way smoother than it was before especially with that little bit of three in one oil so this thing was completely seized up before definitely unusable not smart to ever use a really poor spinning or seized up barbell because of if you're going to snatch clean and jerk that thing needs to rotate around to be safe for your wrists your shoulders your arms anything that's actually uh having to rotate that barbell if it's not going to rotate and somebody doesn't know it's going to rotate odds are you might end up with some kind of wrist injury or something like that so make sure you take care of your barbells make sure uh, that the sleeves the collars everything spins nice and smooth barbells all wrapped up uh she's spinning good it, once again it was completely locked up just took it apart cleaned it all off hit it on the edges where it needed to get a little bit of lubrication now it's spinning well i was able to take off quite a bit of rust off the sleeves and off the shaft um, this is a bare steel bar, so there's no protective coating on it. Um, and as you can see, I didn't spend a whole lot of time trying to clean it up. It's still pretty shiny right now. Um, so I think some of this stuff is still gonna come off and I'll, I'll give it another once over with um, that wire brush and try to take off a little bit more. But anything that's bare steel is gonna end up rusting just a little bit. But bare steel also has probably one of the nicest grips because there's no extra coating making the barbell a little bit thicker, filling in those grooves on the knurling. So really like a bare steel bar, spinning well. We're gonna jump right into the workout, which is going to be death by power clean and burpee. I'm gonna use 185 pounds on the bar for the power cleans and then a burpee over the bar, uh, bar facing burpee. And so once I get capped on that, I'm gonna rest two minutes and then do whatever I got to for time.